Hi, it's me Marcia. Welcome back to Doki Doki. I hope everything goes right. I don't know if it's camera or not, but if it is, hi. Uh, last episode, everything went to hell. I don't know what's happening. Like, I lo I don't know. Uh, she snatches the bar from the floor and the abilities of the prepper. I told you not to give. She doesn't even finish her scent before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Mark. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't... Where's the audio? I don't get it. Why does the audio cut out sometime? Why don't we all share poems now? Sure. Natsuki, of course. You know me. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um, Nazuka rereads my poem. Uh, never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh? Then what's the point of sharing the f in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, remember how I said I wanted you to read my poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable and not sh share yours. Like Monica said. Uh, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, well it's not that great, but let me show you how what lit real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're right. I hope you're happy, I mean, fuck, I can't even... So, in other words, you're saying you liked it. Ugh. As you can re retorts gets caught in our throat. Uh, you're so... You just... You, you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. I think it must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Girl, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. I remember, yeah, we read this before, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so confident that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing, your writing style would make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing ever, everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but I made it fall flat on purpose. It tells brings out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be, means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with, with the last that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't then I won't take it away from her. Monica, the weird one here. Hi, Mark. Having a good time so far? Ah, uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear. By the way, since you knew you and everything. If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Haha, <laughs> don't worry Mark. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. <laughs> I like it, Mark. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Nasuke would write. And she's a good writer, too. 
So take that as a compliment. Haha, <laughs> if you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Nasuki, then always keep a snack on you. <laughs> she clinch up to she clinch to you like a puppy. Hahaha, <laughs> Nasuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money to or leave her any food in the house. So she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier. This is just a guess. But I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescence growth. I didn't know that. But hey, some guys are into petted pet, 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 pet girls too, you know? Sorry, sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Wait, who's saying stuff now? Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused. I found a girl my surrounding, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there other in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of papers? The sound of frantic scrolling playing trick on my ears? The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before I reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. So I destroy my fear and brandish my pen. I don't... Did you write this first before? I can't remember. So, what do you think? Hmm. Is there free form? Is that what... If that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person for ask for feedback. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is... That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of empathy recently. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's something up with Monica. She's like, I don't know. And em emphasis. Yes, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip for today. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way of thinking about it is. Is this, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Then we only have Yuri left. Mm. Yuri stares at the poem. I mean it passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh, sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. Your burst her face in her hand. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of, of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I rec recognize is that in new writer is that they try to make their style very deliberate, right? In other words, they tend to pick up a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both style and expressionness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as a demon. It's her afraid that the belly the real changes, okay, I can't talk. The stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that can go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. 
It, it might take you some time, but it will come with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Hazuki can be a little biased though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or Nasuki. You might never read your poem now. Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if it's, that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? No! Uh, I've been reading too much of her. Nah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have such a terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh. That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. I wasn't. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest, since it's the first time sharing, I want to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Mark. Really? <coughs> I, must have I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember that poems often express their own thoughts and feelings and experience in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolical compared to a ghost. Ling lingering in her last remained place of comfort, unable to go let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting in that way. I hadn't, I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that he thinks that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Okay, what's gonna happen now? I guess that's everyone. Phew. I glance around the room. That's a little more stressful than a petition page. It's as if everyone is judging me from my medical writing about this. Even if they're just be... I don't like this sound anymore. There's no way my poem can stand up to theirs. This is a literary club after all. That's a... I guess that's what I'm ending mus up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. Mai's land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki adds a furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles, smiles at what's with this? What's with this language? Eh? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feelings of giving up. How can it be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I wasn't trying to say something nice. I was just trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come at nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who li actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it. And Mark did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions on my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anything soon, unless, of course, I come across something particular, particular is borrowing. Um... Which I haven't yet. Mm. And Mark liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Nasuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. That's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Mark appreciated my advance more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cute to see. Uh, well, you know what? 
I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Mark started showing up, hell yeah. Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little. This doesn't involve you. Taking out, taking out your own insecurity on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. What was that? <laughs> Me? Look who's talking, you wanna be edgy bitch. What the fuck? Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental edge to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after my grad they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can contrabalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful or you might cut yourself on the, that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? D did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Mark hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Ah! Suddenly you returns towards me as if she, if she just noticed I was standing there. Mark! She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That, that's not true. She started it. How did I get it's not like but who am I? If... I'm picking Natsuki. <laughs> Fucking hell what's happening? Monica, hi. Um, hey, Mark. Why don't we have? Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay. Did they actually say that? I thought it was just like something we thought or some shit. They actually said that. What the fuck? Everything is completely different now. Like, what the fuck? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Ha ha ha. Some precedent I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to a little more assertive sometime. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against some others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh poor, she quickly runs away. Oh no. Oh no, she was crying. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I, di I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki, or did. Mark, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. Yeah, it's something wrong with everyone today. Hmm. It's, it's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. No, she probably fucking... Ah, oh, I swear to God. Completely. Oh. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks actually like she wants to say something, but she keeps gl glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so... Please let me take that responsibility today. It's kind of sound like you don't want me to around for some... For something, Yuri. Yeah. It's not like I don't like Monica. What's happening to her? It's it's not that. I just I didn't get much for a chance to discuss my book with Mark. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate. <gasps> what the fuck? I need to take a piss. Uh. So we were back. Okay, I'm back from the toilet, so 
I don't know, man. Romance. We need to do cute things. Beauty. Amazing. Together. Oh, anime. She likes anime. Uh, a rose, maybe. Fuck. Not you. Uh, sensei. Cute. Kiss. Uh, Valentine. Smile. Flying. <laughs> Special. <gasps> Kawaii. I don't know, man. Flower. Sweet. Pink. Lipstick. Puppy. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I get I gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. What's happening to this fucking game? Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Mark. Ah, hi Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's ex expression, but the weight of yesterday's gravel Carol still hangs in the air a little. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at the desk, and surprisingly, and oh, and surprisingly, Monica isn't her here yet. Suddenly, Yuri, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me into the corner of the room. I don't want you. I, I'm, I want, mon, I want what? About yesterday, I, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me. I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri. I'm happy that you were considerate and apologize. And don't have to worry too much. You don't have to. Even though I only been here a couple days, I could tell something wa was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, I don't think it was that. It didn't make me think le any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Ah, uh, Mark, don't say those kind of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad you, you that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around and... Ah, uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah, no I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri's clearly taken aback by how calmly Nasuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worrying a bit, a little bit. What? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Nasuki, about yesterday, I just want to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, you what the heck are you talking about? Did you do some- Oh my god, what's happening now? Yeah! This has something to do with Monica, 100%. I feel that way, now. Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Jeez! Whatever, whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happen, happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But... I'll accept your apology anyway, if, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kinda nice to hear, since I always... Since I o was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. Hehehe. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. Ahaha. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Nasuki turns on me. You're still on trial though. Hey. Suddenly the door swings open. Hey, I'm on trial. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Nasuki was. I was not. Hahaha. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Ah. Well, my last period today was study hall, 
To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ha ha ha. That makes no sense though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was pra practic practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, don't give more credit. Ah, uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not ready. Re I'm not really good yet. Still, still, that must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Ah, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Haha, <laughs> that's. Uh, Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe when I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Mark. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or, or anything like that. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you. Anyway. I guess that's why I've been practice practicing. Pra I can't even say participating. Participating so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole st whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has really run off into the closet. Mark, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Ah, I suppose so. Fuck no. I don't. I don't think. I don't think I could say not no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess that makes sure Nasuki is, is. Well, I guess I need to make sure Nasuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she, she's fine. Such reading over there. See, don't think about her too so much. She's used to being ignored. Oh my god! Come on, we're going over there. Okay. The fuck? What's the story about anyway? Well, hmm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Marco. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically it's about this religious camp that turned into a human experience prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turn them into killing machines that lust to blood. But the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and afflicting them to Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of a... That's kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So dark. T so that dark turn came from nowhere. Ah, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Mark? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy th those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and elusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story is the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly... I'm, I'm r rambling, aren't I? Not... not not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let thi things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets... Okay? I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's uh... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? <gasps> yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... Aha, what were you saying? Let me, let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book I had put in my bag. Alright, it's fine. I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri. Ah. Yeah, are you sure? You seem a little prosensitive. That's. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. Just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. Open the book and start a prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. 
It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Oh, sorry. I was just bathing in... Oh my god. Y Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? <coughs> uh, I do? <coughs> I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... Ahaha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Here, this should work, right? Here, this should... I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's. Then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri's timidly close her own copy. Once we, <coughs> e once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the pages. Here. Yuri takes the left arm and holds the left side of the book up between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under the thumb. After it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we huddle even closer together than before. Actually kind of, it's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel a warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Yeah, to turn the page. Ah, oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't think how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You know, as you used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably at the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. To con we continue reading. You read no longer ask me if I'm ready to turn if I'm ready to turn pages. Instead, I'm just assume that she finished the page before me, so I turn it. Oh, I can't talk. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it fluffer over to her side as she catches it under her th own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? He was just thinking the way she second guess things she says and all that. Ah, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. Hmm. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else. Never mind. No. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know what that came in. Why that came to my head. Yeah. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Uh. Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... A breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if it, to feel her ar heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Mark? Did something happen just now? Eh, uh, I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, no nothing. Ah, don't worry, I believe you, silly. It's something about Monica, because she said to you, Sayori, that something... I think she said you should kill yourself to Sayori, I'm not sure, I think so. Something like that, that those lines. You just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with... Why, why did it cut? Hold on. Everything, everything cut. Hold on. Okay, there. It should be fine a bit longer. Uh, eh? I can't remember what you said. I pressed. So. Should we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured out we get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it into my bag. Natsuki, of course. Hmm. <laughs> well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. I wrote for you, though. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. 
I mean, everyone in the club writes really different from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spent your time with. After all, I was thought never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. So the thing is, I can't... Can I even choose her anymore? That's my question. Because it doesn't seem like the game wants me to choose Natsuki. I don't know though. It looks like by how I'm playing right now. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Uh huh. Mark, why didn't you come re read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? You like Yuri more? I think you're better off met association with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead, okay? You don't hate me, Mark, do you? Do you hate me? <laughs> no, I don't, Natsuki. Do you want me to make... Do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Oh, it's blood coming from our eyes. Please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. <gasps> oh my god, what the fuck? End. No, no, it's not my fault. What? No, I... End. What? What do you mean? What do you mean end? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean end? What the fuck? Monica, yeah, you bitch. What happened? You bitch. Hi again, Mark. What happened? How's the writing going? Why is it not? Why, why, why is we pretending nothing happened? Natsuki's neck just snapped and it said end. I swear, if Natsuki's dead. What the fuck? Happening? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad, I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you come up with a masterpiece. Haha, <laughs> haha, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote today? For today? Sure, here you go. I gave my poem to Monica. Alright. Great job, Mark. I was going oh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way I always comes when I put in some effort. Ha, <laughs> that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? I, I didn't... I didn't want her to like my writing. Writing that full of ima imagery and symbolism? Sometimes I feel like your rib mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets happy when you treat her with, with a lot of with kindness. I don't think she's used for being indulged like that. She must be really starving for social, social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier, I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up with, up withdrawing and looking for a long time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm glad you took you took all the time you needed. All right, thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I take the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me the colors they want: bright and beautiful, flashing ex, red, green, blue, and and. In the cacophony of meaningless noise, the noise it won't stop. Violent, grateful, squeaking, screeching, piercing, causing tang like playing like on a 
like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage. Delete her. Delete her? Delete? Who? Oh. What the fuck was this? Sorry, I know it's kind of ab ab abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing table today. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Monica is talking to me as the player. I'm gonna just save this here. Just cause you, you. Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Any, anything. Fuck. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. What is this fucking game? I've been waiting for this. Oh my god, my, 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 uh, uh, we are back. Okay, so I understand now. Uh, from, a bit, I understand a bit of the game. The files, uh, characters, it's like a message and everything. Monica is probably all doing this. She wanted to delete her because she's just messing up. And Sarah is completely deleted from the game. Game files and everything. She's deleted. Like completely, she's gone. She doesn't exist. <laughs> like that's fucking awesome. If you ask me, that's fucking cool. That's like a cool thing, but not that she's deleted. That's why she killed herself because she got deleted from the game. I think that's uh, that's what I get. So yeah, so she kills herself because she got deleted from the game, and that's probably Monica doing. Like she got the whole file, everything. But anyway, let's get into the video again let's see what you let's see what you've written for today Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath I don't have my Christmas hat on right now I forgot it so anyway I like just holding it ah I'm, I mean the poem turned out good it's uh well there's are some things that you could work on but that doesn't really matter it feels like anything written by you is a treasure ha 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 that came out a little awkward. Let, let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Okay. I'm not reading it. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hy hyper creative lately, so I had to take it out of new pen. Hmm? Ah, that is uh, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping and I am um, I just really like the way that it writes So I wrote this poem with it And now you're touching it Ha 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 I'm okay. What did I just? Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem though Why am you have unlocked a special poem? Okay Nothing I no, nothing is real. Nothing is real. There's the bitch again. That's uh, controlling everything. It's probably Monica. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today. So if everyone could just come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. Villers end up embarrassing herself instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparation. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Mark joined and we started with some club activities. But this is the time for us to become complacent. We still have, we still only have four members and the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What is so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered on the first club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. That's okay. Don't you think you're looking at it right? I, I don't. I didn't read that. 
Don't you, don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you here in the place in the first place? The literature club sh could should be a place where people can express themselves like they can can't do anywhere else. Yes. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. That's why we work hard and put something together for the festival even if it's something small. Right, Mark? Ah. Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Mark to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? You never even talked until Mark joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Mark isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's in interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinion for once. Monica's gonna delete Natsuki, I swear. Okay, if Natsuki dies, hey, it's Monica. Monica's clearly taken back, aback by Natsuki's words. That's, that's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Mark want to get more members too. Right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue this situation, um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club is nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean. But that doesn't mean that we're not getting. That doesn't mean that we're getting against getting new members or anything. Mark, why did you even join this club? What are you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about be ab about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the, the club being that for me? There aren't. There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take that away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Mark. It's not the same. I w it won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one. I mean... At least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Azuka starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. That's okay. Okay, what the fuck can happen? Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Okay, uh, what's the time? Nobody would cry if she killed herself. What the fuck's happening? I swear this game. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Mark? What do you want to get out of this club? You repeat the same question as Monica. I decided to give an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. 
I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your... What's that? Once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can talk talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri? Eh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. But I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Mark? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but... I'm going to chat a little bit with Mark before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of this time here and all that. It's important to me as president. You looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow! Monica waves at as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew! Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Mark, I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I wouldn't really hate... I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. Fuck, man, like... And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. Oh, cause oh, it's, ta it's talking about me as a person. And me the player, because it's real. You know what I mean? But it's weird because it, all the time you've been here, we've been hardly gotten to spend any time together. Ah, I mean... I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I was hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet. No, no. Stop it. What's happening? Hmm. Okay. Kiss. Candy. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Shopping. Did you see Sayori? Wait, no, a thousand? What the fuck? I'm not- I'm not typing a thousand things. No, no, I'm not pressing that again. I'm just not. <laughs> uh, heaven said no, 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 no. Kitty. Hope. Oh, fuck. Rainbow. Hell yeah. Bliss. Cute. Anime, romance, skipping, sunset, pink, uh, sugar, uh, fan, peppy, lucky, there we go, I don't know what the fuck is happening but it was like a million things. Hi Mark, I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversation with your innocent yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what gotten into you lately? Look. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. I know the new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess I know the girl would be nice this time. So, that's okay. Nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machine or something? Did you actually say that? Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah, ahaha. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. The most makes me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, Mark, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans. F we ha we already have plans today. Ah, 
Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Mark is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> Aren't you glad that I got an in him into literature, Monica? I, I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I take some tea first? Make some tea? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that you can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Your stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Your hands me the water pitcher and, and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerism. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri ap appears elegant and methodically. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be alright. Ah, I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Picture in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did you relieve you again? No, it's not like that at, at this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make some tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten, min ten minutes. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. It's something holding her up. I'm bored just waiting. So I decided, oh no. Music better still be here. Let's see, the most logical, uh, let me just take this off a bit like this. We'll be the nearest water fountain. I start hel heading down the hallway. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> a sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? It's sorry, isn't it? I, I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Oh, it was okay. Kya! I'm back. What the fuck? Someone skipped the time right now. I think this is what's happening now. Someone, probably Monica, skipped the back time because Sayori. I don't know. It. I feel like it was Sayori only because question mark, question mark. I don't know. I don't know though. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Mark, do you like oolong tea? I didn't wait though, I actually went looking, but you know. Ah, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. You resist the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even, you know, I'm gonna end this here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna save that there. Uh, it's been a long episode. I think this is a long one. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and pop it up. I don't know what's happening. I'm scared recording each video now. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. And peace!